A kick is the common term used to describe intrusion of formation fluid into the well bore, during drilling operation. This happens when the pressure of the formation being drilled is greater than the hydrostatic pressure imposed by the column of drilling fluid. A kick may be primarily composed of salt water, oil, natural gas, or, a combination of these fluids. This video discusses the various causes of kicks. The well control examination always contains a set of questions on well kicks. We will cover these questions at the end of this video. So do watch until the end. Let us review some of the basic definitions and concepts associated with subsurface formations. Porosity is defined as the amount of void space in the rock expressed as a percent. Permeability is the ability of a rock to allow fluid flow through the formation. Permeability is measured in darcies, or millidarcies. Formation pressure regimes are classified into normal, subnormal and, abnormal pressures. The normal pressure gradient in any area will be equal to the hydrostatic pressure gradient of the water occupying the pore spaces of the formations in that area. A subnormal formation pore pressure gradient is any gradient less than the pore fluid hydrostatic gradient. Abnormally high formation pressure gradients are any formation pressure gradients higher than the normal hydrostatic pressure gradient. Abnormal pore pressure is often called superpressure, overpressure, and sometimes, geopressure. In many instances, formation pressure is greater than the normal pressure encountered, at that depth. So, when does a kick occur? The influx of formation fluid, or a kick could happen from a variety of reasons. They are Insufficient mud weight of drilling fluid not keeping the hole full, swab and surge pressure, loss of circulation, partial and full, or, drilling into unexpected abnormal formation pressure. What could be the reasons for having insufficient mud weight? The reasons could be Improper water additions, leaking mud room or pit valves Barite settling or sag in high angle hole sections Human error Or Drilling through an abnormal pressured formation with inadequate understanding of the correct formation pressure As a standard procedure, fluid density should be checked and logged frequently. Mud weight values should be reported over a intercom and any discrepancy conditions should be reported immediately. Improper hole fill up during trips is a leading cause of well kicks. Correct hole filling during tripping is of paramount importance. Trip sheets should be maintained during tripping. Trip tanks must be accurately calibrated. Plan the trip, have a set schedule of stands pulled between fill-ups. To understand the reduction in bottom hole pressure due to incorrect hole fill-up, let us see an example. If mud weight in hole is 12.2 ppg and it drops 350 feet because of incorrect hole fill up, what is the decrease in bottom hole pressure? Decrease in bottom hole pressure can be calculated as 
0.052 times 12.2 times 350 equals 271 pounds per square inch. Swabbing is the reduction of pressure in a well bore caused due to pipe movement. If pressure is reduced sufficiently, reservoir fluids may flow into well bore causing a kick. Swabbing is affected by pipe pulling speed, mud properties, and annular clearance. To prevent swabbing, monitor hole fill up on trips. Limit pipe pulling and running speeds. Add trip margin. If swabbing is severe, consider pumping out of hole. The main warning signs of swabbing are excessive overpull, drag, or torque, drilling in reactive formations high rheology mud properties, and hole not taking proper volume of fluid. Loss of circulation can cause a potential loss of hydrostatic pressure in the well bore, which in turn can cause a kick. As a fundamental principle, the hole must remain full at all times. A warning sign is an indication of kick observed at the surface by the rig crew. This is important because an early warning can prevent an occurrence of kick. Warning signs of a kick while drilling are Drilling break Increase in flow return rate Gain in pit volume Well flows with pumps shut off Decrease in circulating pressure String weight change Reduced drilling fluid density And geo-pressured shale cuttings Warning signs of a kick while tripping are Improper hole fill Well begins to flow when running in or pulling out And, gain observed in trip tank volume Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you.